Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper two. Here we're looking at question 11. So figure two shows a sketch of the graph with the equation y equals two mod x plus four minus five. The vertex of the graph is at point P shown in figure two. So that's figure point P down here. Um, find the coordinates of P. So coordinate P is going to be achieved at the lowest point of this graph. And remember the modulus of x plus 4 is always going to make things positive, so the minimum that can be is 0. So what coordinate will that be made to be 0 to make it a minimum point? Well it's going to have an x coordinate of minus 4. Uh, so that will make this modulus component 0. So it's then 2 times 0 minus 5 to get the y value, and that will be minus 5. So there we are, that's the answer to coordinate p minus 4 minus 5. Moving on to part b now, it's looking for us to solve the equation 3x plus 40 equals 2 mod x plus 4 minus 5. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this equation here, 3x plus 40. And 40 is going to be way up here. If you work it out, this point here is going to be the coordinate 3. That's when x is 0, so that would be 0 plus 4 is 4, times 2 is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3, so that's coordinate 3 down here. What's the gradient of my straight line going to be? Well, it's going to have a gradient of 3. And the gradient of this graph on the left-hand side will either be 2 on the right-hand side or minus 2 on the left-hand side. So either way, it's going to be steeper than either of these two lines. Now, another thing I need to check is whether it's going to cross this point down here or this point here. Now, I know that this coordinate here is going to be minus 4, minus 5. So if I now use that equation and work out when x is minus 4, what my y value is going to be, so that's going to be minus 12 plus 40. That will make it 28. So it's going to go through the coordinate minus 4, 28. So it's going to be somewhere, well, not to scale, but I need to make sure it's steeper than this gradient here. So it's going to be something like this. So I, it's going to have a steeper gradient than this line here. So it's never going to intersect. It's more like going to go like that. But just to try and get it to scale, I've had to make sure it's uh, like this. So it's going to have a steeper gradient, therefore it's not going to intersect this part here at all, but it will intersect this part here. So it's going to intersect the negative part of this um, x plus 4 when it's been modulus. So it's going to be the negative of this component here. So I'm now going to be solving 3x plus 40 equals 2 times the negative component of the x plus 4, so that would be minus x and minus 4, minus 5. And then if I expand my brackets and solve it, this will be our only solution, minus 2x, minus 8, and then minus uh, 5. So therefore, let's now simplify this. We'll put the 5 on this side, that would be 5x, and then let's move the numbers onto the right-hand side, so that would be minus 13, minus another 40, so that would be minus 53. And now let's uh, simplify this, so it'll be minus 53 over 5. So there we are, that's the only solution to this equation here. Let's now move on to part C. Um, a line L has equation y equals ax, where a is a constant, given that L intersects the graph y equals 2 mod x plus 4 minus 5 at least once, find the possible range of values for a, write your answer in set notation. So my line here is going to have to go through 0, 0, because it's y equals ax, and it's going to be intersecting at this point here, well, above this point, because it says at least once, and then also when its gradient is 2, um, anything greater than 2 is going to intersect the right-hand Part of this graph as well. So what I really need to know first of all is what is going to be the gradient such that it will intersect this coordinate here and that's going to be the gradient of 5 over 4. So that gradient there will be 5 over 4 so gradient to intersect P intersect P is going to be 5 over 4 so it'll have to go 5 up for every 4 across, so 5 over 4. And then anything greater than, 
So if it's if it's slightly greater than 5 over 4, then it won't intersect the line at all. But then as soon as it gets to 2, it's going to now be a gr steeper gradient than this line here. So it's now going to um, intersect up in this top right area. So find the possible values of A. So it's going to be A is existing in the real set of numbers and such that a is going to be less than or equal to 5 over 4. If it's equal to 5 over 4, then it will intersect p exactly once, but it's at least once. So if it's anything less than 5 over 4, it will be a shallower gradient or a negative gradient, in which case it would definitely intersect at least once. And the union with a existing in the real set of numbers such that um, a, if it's anything greater than 2 the gradient, then it will be steep enough to intersect the graph again on the right hand side. So a is greater than 2, just strictly greater than 2, because if it was equal to 2 exactly, it'd be parallel to it. So it's just greater than 2 there. So there we are, that's the answer for question 11, worth 7 marks in total there. Let's now move on to question 12.